Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're going to be looking at the decode URI component function on Power Automate. So in our example we have a variable URL which is a string variable and we have a URL within that which is HTTPS percent 3a percent 2f percent 2f www.flojo.io percent 2f example percent 20 page. Now it's not very human readable, but what it's using is it's using URL safe characters. Now what do I mean by URL safe characters? Well, the colon is equal to percent %3a, so we've got the HTTPS colon, but it's been replaced with uh, percent %3a for URL safe characters. Then we've got the forward slash, which is the percent %2f, so we've got percent %3a, percent %2f, percent %2f, we've got colon, forward slash, forward slash. Then we've got www.flojo.io forward slash example. Then we've got percent %20. Now percent %20 is simply a space. You can't have the space in the URL, so it replaces the space with a URL safe character. Now what if you want to get back to a human readable URL from a URL with URL safe characters. And we want to get something like this, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.flojo.io slash example space page. Nice and human readable. What we do is we pass in the URL that has URL safe characters into the decoded URI component. When this runs then, it returns a decoded URI component. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us a decoded URL. So let's see this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on Power Automate. We have a manual trigger for our flow. We also have a variable being initialized called encoded URI. It's a string type and it has the URL that we looked at before with all of the different URL safe characters. So it's flowjo.io forward slash example space page, but it's been replaced with all the URL safe characters that we was discussing. So now we want to use a compose action and then within that compose action, we're using a decode URI component function and we're passing in the URL with the URL safe characters. Now when we run this then, we're expecting our URL safe characters to be removed from our URL and replaced with their generic characters that are more human readable. So as you can see there, we've got a nice human readable URL and it's taken this URL with all the URL safe characters, they've replaced them and returned us a nice easy to read URL. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.